Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 18th of 2025 is titled Comet C-2025 R2 Swan. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see the comet known as Swan 25b. Now, this is a recently discovered comet, discovered only a week ago. And why was it so hard to discover? Well, comets are hard to see when they're far from the sun. And in the case of this one and many other comets, if they're too close to the sun in the sky, they're hard to see, simply because the sun is overwhelmingly bright. So this was actually actually detected looking at images from the SOHO spacecraft, which images the sun and, of course, a lot of things around it. And searching those images can allow you sometimes to find a comet. And that's what, was hap what happened here. So it was just before the comet reached its closest approach to the sun that it was discovered. So, we still don't know a whole lot about this comet and what it's going to do in terms of brightness over the coming weeks. Now, we can expect that it will get a little brighter. Here, we're seeing it in a telescopic image taken just a couple of days ago. And you currently need binoculars or a small telescope to be able to see it. And it's visible in the western sky just after sunset and will be best seen south of the equator right now. Now the positioning will slowly change and that may become more visible to those of us in the northern hemisphere later on. Now, the comet is coming closer to Earth over the next few weeks, and it will actually become closest to Earth just about a month from now. On October the 20th, it'll make its closest approach. However, that closest approach will actually be nowhere near Earth. It'll still be a good fraction of the Earth-Sun distance away from us and is in absolutely no danger of colliding with Earth. But, as you might expect, as it gets closer to Earth, it will actually get brighter as well. Now, that doesn't mean the comet's getting brighter, but as it's closer, it's going to appear brighter. So, comets will get bright for two reasons. One is they're getting closer to the Sun, and the other is when they're getting closer to Earth. And the combination of those two can make for prominent comets in the sky. So, when one is closer to the Sun and very well visible and relatively close to Earth, that gives us a good chance to be able to see a prominent comet such as this in the sky. But, as I said, this is the first time this comet has ever been detected. Therefore, we don't know what it will do, whether it will get brighter or whether it will just kind of fizzle out over the next few weeks. So, it's something to watch for. Will we have a chance to see another comet in the sky as we did last year? Or will it end up just fizzling out and we'll get to see it, but only through images like this using telescopes or binoculars? So that was our picture of the day for September 18th of 2025. It was titled Comet C-2025 R2 Swan. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be It's Complicated. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.